What's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today on lunchtime with my Gear VR, we are gonna become a space commander, or general, or admiral, or I don't know what. But we're gonna be doing something pretty cool. We're gonna be checking out a new release that comes out today called Skylight by E. McNeil. Now, E. McNeil, you may remember, brought us Tactera. And I played that a while back on one of the earlier lunchtime with my Gear VRs, and it kind of made a believer out of me. It, it actually showed me that RTS games can be amazing in VR. I've never really been an RTS or strategy type gamer, but man, if this is anything like Tactera, I am in for a treat. So let's jump in and let's take a look at Skylight. Now I can tell you already that right here in the initial menu, man, I feel like I'm on the bridge of this ship. And it, that is an amazing feeling for me as a huge Star Trek fan, as a huge space fan in general. I mean, this is just absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so this is my first time playing, so I may look like a complete noob, especially since I'm not, you know, into the whole RTS thing. But uh, we're going to take it together and see how it goes. So right here in the menu, it looks like we've got campaign, skirmish, or multiplayer. Awesome. Um, and some options. So I'm just going to leave it at the default option, and I think we're going to go ahead and jump in and take a small slice of the campaign here before my burrito gets cold. Okay, so looks like we've got three missions here. We've got Outer Rim Rebellion, War of the Moons, and Conquest of the Core. So we're going to start right here with Outer Rim Rebellion. Man, these holographic displays look awesome. Okay, so the Hydra incident, four versus two, six versus five. Okay, so let's start with Hydra incident. Okay, so it looks like here we're going to be able to select our ship outline. So let's see here, select a ship from the left and then select where you want to deploy that ship on the right. Okay, so let's see here. We want one of these bad boys right here. I'm going to put it in this sector. I'm going to throw a battleship down. And let's just even it out. And let's get a galleon defense cap ship here. Hey, yeah. All right, so there we go. There we've got our galleon. And we'll finalize and see what happens. Initializing combat simulation. Man, just like Tactera, I'm loving this holographic stuff. Okay, so we want this guy. <laughs> this is cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move you here. Okay, and this guy we are going to move you here. Oh, here we go. We've got a clash coming on here. Ah, this is another one of those times that I wish I was playing this in my riff because I really I'm like I'm trying to lean in to look at this closer. Okay, so here we go. The battle is paused, so now we can go ahead and issue some new orders here. Alright, we're going to have you take out the destroyer. And we're going to have you take out the destroyer. And go. Oh, little ship, I got both my big daddies coming in at you. Don't you pew 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 at me. Oh, now I'm turning to face you. Uh-oh. I somehow don't think that was a wise decision. Okay, so let's see what that does. Oh, 
okay, cool. So I can kind of move it into any viewpoint that I want. That's really awesome. Okay. So, galleon. Okay, I'm going to have you continue to attack him. But you're going to come over here and attack that guy. And go. Nice, I got shields. Really loving the chill pace of this game. I mean, now granted, I'm sure this gets a lot more hectic the farther in you get, but you know, this is just nice to just be able to sit here and chill and watch this holographic battle. The, the music is so far, man, I'm gelling on it. I'm loving this. All right, let's take them out, boys. Pew, 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 pew. Shields are holding, Captain. Arm photon torpedoes. Oh, very cool. Okay. So let's have you come over here. I want you to keep bringing the thunder. Let's do a flanking maneuver. Flanking maneuver. Nice! Sweet. Okay. I gotta say it right here and right now. I love this game. This game is absolutely freaking awesome. You must bring this to Oculus Rift. Not that there's anything wrong with Gear VR. It's just, man, with Oculus Rift and, and like full positional tracking, uh, like maybe even with touch controllers, getting up, walking around, manipulating the ships with my hands. God, that would be awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another battle here. And then I think we'll probably cap it after this battle because I ain't kidding. VR gamer dude is hungry today. And I have not done a lunchtime with my Gear VR. I've actually been eating my lunch. Uh, but I will say it's, it's not for lack of want, guys. Um, I actually uh, couldn't. Um, I was having some audio issues with my phone here. And uh, finally, after a month and a half of trying to figure out what was gone, um, I actually have cracked that nut. So we are back to full audio recording again. Um, so hopefully we will continue to uh, pump out. Oh. We will continue to pump out the uh, lunchtime with my Gear VRs again. I actually uh, want to thank you because I've gotten a couple of uh, messages from you guys uh, kind of missing the series. So thank you very much for your support of Lunchtime with my Gear VR. Initializing combat simulation. All right, here we go. If your ship is attacked by a fighter's level, it is incapable of following orders until the fighters have been destroyed. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Well, cool. Then we want to have my fighter squadron attack this big daddy. And we will have you also attack this big daddy. And then we will have these big guys right here come in and take you guys out. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, did I miss one? Can I not? Oh, since I hit go, I can't tell that one what to do. Okay, well that was my bad. Maybe it's cool that you hung back. Oh, nice! Your ships will always try to follow their orders. However, when a ship has no orders left, it will attack any enemy that comes within range. Oh, okay, I like that. Okay, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and switch our perspective on the battlefield here just a little bit. And let's go ahead and bring you into the fight. We'll go ahead and take you up here. Go ahead and leave you attacking here. Nope. And have you continue to attack here. And have my little pew pews just continue to swarm the heck out of their big ship. And go. Oh, nice. Well, no, not nice because it's their ship, but cool nonetheless. Awesome effect. Uh-oh, little fighter dudes. They be swarming. Got to take out them fighters. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Now everybody rain hell down on this guy. Okay, so it is a little hard to select if it'd be nice if I could rotate the play space as well. And I'll tell you another cool cool effect, and I know it'd be kind of hard to pull off in Gear VR, is if we actually saw the battle going on outside the windows of the bridge here. Uh, I think that would be a really, really awesome effect. Oh, that's right. We probably want to... Oh, I see. And that thing's counting down the time. Alright, very cool. Okay, so I'm going to move you here so you can attack from the side. You are going to continue to bring the thunder on this guy. And you continue to take that guy down. All right, let's go. Make it so. Nice. Direct hit. Woohoo! Mission accomplished. Yeah. All right. So there we go. We have got the two, uh, the first two missions down here. But like I said, I, you know, just to keep the video at a decent length and so VR Gamer Dude can eat his lunch, uh, I gotta say, we're gonna cap it here. But man, what a treat this is. So, E. McNeil, you are a freaking VR RTS wizard, my friend. And, and thank you so much for sending me a copy of your game. I, I, I am just blown away. And if you guys want to get a copy of this, I am going to throw a link to the uh, store page down in the description so you can run over to the Gear VR store and grab a copy for yourself and see what I just saw. And of course, if you have a Google Cardboard or other playback device, I'll be adding this to the uh, great in Google Cardboard playlist. You know, you can always put your phone in your Google Cardboard or other uh, VR playback device and you can see it the exact same way that I did. But for me today, that is going to do it. I got a nice big burrito from the Mexican food place up the street sitting on my desk and the smell is killing me. So this is VR Gamer Dude signing off, y'all. Peace.